Hello and welcome to preschool circle time. Sue, come out and say hi to our friends. Look, Sue, wanna say hi and wave? <laughs> good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, good morning, Sue, and good morning, all of you. Today's letter, Sue, is going to be B for polar bear. Before we get started with that, though, we better feed Fred. That's our class job. Every time you come to class, we have to feed our pet, our fish named Fred. So, Sue, why don't you have a seat? And we'll turn around. And we'll say hi to Fred, our fish. Hi, Fred. Here you go, Fred. Here's some food for you. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is. The month is January. Can you say January? January. Let's reach into our can and see how we're gonna count. Bend and touch our toes. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna count the number as we bend and touch our toes. Here we go. One, two, three. That's it. Today is January 3rd. Can you say that? January 3rd. Third. Very good. If you go up, up, up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with the letter T. Letter T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. So what day is it today? T, t, t. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it is time to check the weather, so go look outside the window and see what your weather is like today. Maybe your weather is sunny or rainy or cloudy or snowy. Are you ready? Did you check your weather outside the window? Okay, when I do like this, shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is, it is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Okay, let's dress weather bear. Let's see, I think Weather Bear is gonna need some pants for today. And he's gonna need a shirt. And I think he's gonna need a coat. It's cold today and a hat. Do you remember what season it is right now? Hmm. The season is winter. Winter is the season. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for letter of the day. Today's letter is B. This is the letter B. If your name has letter B, stand up. If your name has letter B, stand up. If your name has letter B, if your name has letter B, if your name has letter B, stand up. 
Well, B is for polar bear. And here's how I decorated my letter B today. I just put some cotton on my letter B. You could also use pillow stuffing or you could just use pieces of Kleenex or paper towels, just ball those up and put those all over your letter B. B is for polar bear and this looks like a fluffy polar bear. Well, let's practice writing letter B. I'll show you how. To make a letter B, you're going to need some bubbles, two bubbles. First, you make a number one, and then you blow two bubbles, one bubble upstairs, one bubble downstairs like that. One and two bubbles. Let's practice making a big letter B. Okay, big B goes upstairs and downstairs on our handwriting paper. Make a one and then blow two bubbles. One, two. One and two bubbles. One, two. Make a number one and then blow a bubble upstairs and a bubble downstairs. Let's make one more. One and two bubbles. Can I see your big letter B? job. Yes. And if you don't have paper, sky write. One and two bubbles. Good job. Okay, well now I'm going to show you how to make the little letter B. We just need one bubble. So make a one and one bubble downstairs. One bubble. Can you try to make a little letter B? I'll show you. We're gonna make a number one again. And then we're gonna blow one bubble downstairs. One bubble. One bubble. One bubble. One more. One bubble. That is the little letter B. I wanna see your little letter B. Yay! Good job. I'm going to give you a sticker for our handwriting time. Very good. There it comes. That's for you. Well, now we know what letter B looks like. We know how to write letter B. So it's time to talk about the sound that letter B makes. Letter B makes the sound like this. Ba, ba, ba. Can you try to make that sound? Very good. Letter B says, ba, ba, ba. It kind of sounds like popping bubbles. So let's do that to practice that letter B sound. I'm gonna blow some bubbles and I want you to pretend to pop the bubbles on your screen and make that letter B sound. Ba, 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 ba. All right, here we go. What does letter B sound like? Ba, 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 ba. What does B say? What does letter B say? One more time. What does letter B sound like? That's something fun you can do at home today to practice that letter B sound. Okay, well now it's time for art. So we're going to go over to the art table and we're going to make a polar bear. Let's go. For your art today, you can make a polar bear blot painting. Let me show you. So all I need to do is just get a cotton ball, or you could have a little piece of Kleenex or toilet paper if you want to. If you don't want your hands to get too messy, you can just put the cotton ball on a clothespin dip it into some white paint, and then blot, blot, blot. To blot means to just put, make your cotton go up and down, up and down. You want it to be in the shape of a polar bear. You can use your finger if you want to, to also make some snowflakes around your polar bear. 
When your polar bear is dry, you could even add a face if you'd like. So that's our art project for today. We made a polar bear blot painting. I think our polar bear blot painting turned out really pretty. Well, now it's time for science. And for science today, I want to talk about a polar bear's hair. What color is a polar bear? Polar bear is white, right? Well, actually, if you look at a polar bear's hairs really closely, they're really clear, like this fishing string. Let me pull this up so you can see. It's almost invisible. It looks clear. But what happens is the light bends through the polar bear's hairs and it makes it look white. Let me show you a picture of a polar bear's hair up close. See, it does look kind of clear, almost like you can see through it, like the fishing line I showed you. But when the light bends through those hairs, it makes the polar bear look white. Look at that, mama and baby polar bear. How beautiful and fluffy and white. Well, let's do a little science experiment to show that things that are clear, like the polar bears here and like water, can bend the light and do some really interesting things. So I have an arrow here. Which way is the arrow pointing? That way. Now watch when I put it behind this glass of water. Now which way is the arrow pointing? That way. That's pretty cool. Now which way is it pointing? That way. Let's do it again. Now which way is the arrow pointing? The opposite way. So you can see how things that are clear like this water or the polar bear's hair bends the light and does some really cool things. Well, I want to read a story to you before you go. And the name of our story today is Polar Bear, Polar Bear. What do you hear? Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. Pictures by Eric Carl. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Keeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo, braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. The end. <laughs> we'll soon come out so we can say goodbye to our friends. Thank you for joining us for our circle time for preschoolers. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a great day. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>